Yeah, I was prepared to fast in Cuba, and there were definitely some rough times, but it's actually not the worst place for a vegan. So what was key to my survival was a list of restaurants that offered vegan or vegetarian options. Now, I eventually abandoned that list because I realized that most of the restaurants <laughs> offered, I was basically ordering off of like the appetizer menu anyway. So, and most of the restaurants offered kind of similar options. So. This place had the best bruschetta as well as smoothies and juices, and it was also a cool place to hang out for a couple of hours. <laughs> Cafe Presidente was recommended by my host after I came home exhausted after searching for food for several hours, and they were able to accommodate me. Trace the Mogotes. It's also the habitat of two Cuban species, like the national bird, of the dragon, the bee hummingbird, the ear funnel bat, the Cuban pine tree. The crevices made by the old aquifers who eroded side of those mountains. Remember the name Mogotes. Mogotes. Here and some Chinese islands would be the only place in the world where you could find them, that formation. In Villeles, my guide spoke to the owner of this palador, let her know that I was a vegan vegetarian, and so she prepared me a bounty of food. It was a bit overpriced, but it was it was okay. <laughs> This restaurant was the only fully vegan slash vegetarian restaurant on my list. Yeah, we saw the we saw the petrol station to go to the bathroom, and it was the first time that we seen like I mostly stayed in Central Havana, which is very, very local. A lot of tourists go to uh, Old Havana, which is very beautiful, and it caters to tourists, so there's a lot of fancy stores and restaurants, and, you know, most people can't afford, afford to go there. Uh, but uh, my guide said that there was a local mall not far from where I was staying uh, on the main strip, and so I took some time to visit it. I didn't stay long because it was extremely hot. It was hotter inside the mall than outside the mall. Uh, and when I say mall...
Haiti, mm -hmm. but at the same time it has the same African roots, you know. Mm -hmm. We, it's not the same, but they have roots in black magic and everything. In Videro Beach, this restaurant, Lele or Lala, has the worst restaurant. It ranks like the top three worst restaurants that I've ever been to. It gets better back in Old Havana. <laughs> This is ranked uh, the number one Palador in Havana, and I think it deserves the title. They were very accommodating. They weren't freaked out by me being vegan or vegetarian. Um, the food was very fresh, and yeah, it's very delicious. Oh, yeah. night in Havana and I was like whatever I'm just gonna stay here in this little tourist area and find something and I found this place <laughs> assessment. If you are vegetarian, you can definitely find food in Cuba. If you're vegan, it might be a little iffy, but I think that uh, you could definitely find some food, particularly if this is my second point, you make a list of all the places that will accommodate you um, as a vegan slash vegetarian. Um, and I think that you'll be fine. Number three is even when I said places were like delicious, uh, I probably was thinking about the fact that, okay, I was walking around for several hours, couldn't find a place, places were closed. I was really happy that I found this place and it's open, the food is fresh, they gave me a lot of food. But one thing, the common denominator for all of these places is that, uh, except where I had the potato soup, um, but most of the places don't season their food. It's not seasoned well. So if you like seasoning on your food beyond oil, then I suggest you bring some seasoning with you. So that's it. That's my, my, my assessment. <laughs>